The reliability of the Bible is beyond anything of any other manuscript or any other document in history. It was written by over 40 different authors, inspired by the Holy Spirit over 1,600 years, and yet there's a consistent theme from Genesis to Revelation. Think about that. We could take 40 of you right now and tell you to write the same story. It would be all different. But God used 40 different people moved by the Holy Spirit over 1,600 years. And then you find that now there's the consistent theme going all the way from Genesis to Revelation of the manifestation of Jesus Christ and the grace of God and the promise of salvation. It's all there, all coming in different centuries and different times. That is a miracle, folks. That is a miracle. We know the reliability of the Bible because it's proven to be accurate historically and archaeologically. For many, many years, there was no, no one could find reference in, the, in, in archaeology to, to, the, to the reign of King David. He's all through the Bible, right? When you study the Bible, you know about King David. But they could not, they could not find any historical evidence that King David even existed. And then in 1993, there were in the upper part of Israel, a place called Dan, and they were doing some excavation, and they found a stone that had been written in Aramaean from an Aramaean king who talked about a war that he had against the house of Israel and the house of David, and suddenly now archaeology points to the fact, yes, the Bible is true. For many, many years, there was no external evidence of a man by the name of Pontius Pilate. Anyone remember that guy? No one could prove that he really did exist. In fact, for some, for some years, they thought maybe he's just a figment of people's imagination. But in 1961, they were doing some excavation at a place called Caesarea by the Sea, near up above Tel Aviv, and they found a stone that's called the Pilate Stone, where Pilate had dedicated one of the amphitheaters there. Again, time and time again, those are just two examples of archaeological findings that have reinforced the reality and the trust we can have in the Bible. Why do I believe the Bible is true and that God is the God of the Bible? Is because Jesus used his Bible. He didn't have a Bible like you and I have, but he quoted the Old Testament scriptures time and time again. He made reference to the Old Testament and to teachings of the prophets, as did the apostles. And I will tell you another reason that we can have confidence in God and confidence in God's word is because lives are daily, miraculously changed by the words in this book. Amen?